All right, let's take a look at surface area. So for uh, surface area, we have three types of problems that we're gonna look at. First one is with a rectangular box, right? Which we'll call a rectangular solid. Uh, the second one will be a cylinder. And the third one will be cube. So those are the most common uh, types of surface area questions that you'll see. Okay, so with this one, this is our formula. It's two length width plus two width height plus two length height. And for all three of these, the formulas are just something that you have to memorize. You have to put in the time to memorize these so that you can go and do the problem. Without the formula, then there's no way you're going to get it, right? It's just going to be guessing at that point. Okay, so let's plug these in. Uh, 2 times 5 times 7 plus 2 times 7 times 8, right? 2 with height, there's the width, there's the height. Um, and down below, we'll do the last one. 2 times length times height, so 2 times 5 times 8, okay? So that's how we plug that stuff in, pretty simple. And then we just got to multiply these out, all right? Make sure you take your time with it. 5 times 7 is 35 times 2. That'll give us a 70. Um, 7 times 8 is 56 times 2 is a 112. The third one, 5 times 8 is 40 times 2 is 80. Okay, and we just have to add these all together. So 80 plus 112 is 192, uh, plus 70 is 262. 262, all right? And that would be our final answer. So these ones take a little bit of time, but the main thing is you know the formula, plug the stuff in, uh, and it's really not that hard. Okay, let's do another one. So they'll give you length, width, and height. You gotta know the formula. Plug it in. Um, okay, on this one it's length is two, width is four, height is five. Okay, so we go through exactly the same process. Two times two times four. And remember, don't forget about these twos. Sometimes people do that, right? They forget to put the two in front of the length, the width, and the height, and they won't get the right answer. Uh, plus two times four times five. Height is five. That's width and height. Third one, two length height. Two times two times five. Okay. Right? Now we just need to multiply and then add. So 2 times 4 is 8, times 2, that's 16. 5 times 4 is 20, times 2, that's 40. 5 times 2 is 10, times 2, that's 20. Okay, we add these together, 40 and 20 makes 60. 60 plus 16, 76. That's the right answer, good. Need to do all the work and then it'd be wrong. Okay, so that was rectangular solid. I'd probably, there, you know, uh, yeah, a cylinder might be the harder one to remember from a formula standpoint. Okay, so for our cylinder formula, two times pi r squared h, plus height times two pi r. Okay, so that's our formula. Two times pi r squared h plus height times two pi r. Yep, so you're gonna have to put in some time to memorize that one and then they'll give you the radius and the height. All right, so in our example here, we're gonna do another two examples on cylinder. Radius is five, height's two. Okay, again. Once we have these, we've got everything we need. Now we just need to plug it in and take our time so we don't make any uh, mistakes with the math. So let's take a look, right? So we start off with two on the outside times pi. We're saying r is five. Five squared times height, which is two. Plus, all right, we all got that, right? 
We'll just draw these numbers right down. Plus the height is two times two times pi, run out of room here, uh, times the radius, which is five. Okay, um, two times two times pi times five. I was on the right side. Okay, so now let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. All right, so we have five squared makes 25. Everybody agree with that? Five squared makes 25. So we have two times pi times 25 times two plus, right? Here we have um, two times two is four. So we'll just say four times pi times five. All right, four times pi times pi. Okay, so now let's see if we can get this cleared up even a little bit more. 25 times two is 50. Yes, so now we have 50 pi here. Times two plus, sorry, I kept running out of room here on the right side, hope you can read it. Uh, we have four times pi times five, All right? So we have five times four is 20. We have 20 pi here. Okay, and then we've got to multiply 50 and 2 together on this one. So that's 100 pi. Right, and now we're just going to add these two together. Plus 20 pi equals 120 pi. Okay, so that's how we do it. All right, so it's a bunch of math, but really once you know the formula, you're just plugging this stuff in and no problem. Okay, let's do another one. Try to give myself a little more room on the right side of the board here. The next one, um, second one says, this one gives you diameter but not radius. And so I have to be comfortable. We did that earlier too, right? So D equals eight, height equals, wrote it down wrong, height equals three. Okay, All right, so remembering radius is half diameter. Right, so D equals eight, radius is four. Okay, so that, well, we got that, we have radius equals four. So we'll put that over here. I feel like just cross this out now. Radius is four, so we don't forget. Now, time to plug in. Two times pi times R squared, so that's four squared times the height, which is three. Everybody can see what we did there. Two times pi, radius is four squared, times three plus, height is three, times two, times pi, times r, which is four. Okay, everybody's good there. And now let's plug in a little bit more, get a little more math done. Two times pi, four squared is 16. Four times four is 16 times three, all right, that all makes sense. All we did there, we just did four squared, everything else is the same. And here, let's go ahead and multiply three times two. That'll give us six times pi times four. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do the 16 times three over here. So 16 times three is 48. Now we have 48 times pi times two. All right, again, only did one step, 16 times three. Here, we're basically ready to go. Six times pi times four. Six times four is 24, so we have 24 pi. Right there. Now, 48 times two is 96, okay? Times pi, so we have 96 pi plus 24 pi yeah, the same answer, 120 pi. Okay, so that's how we go about doing the cylinder problems. Got to know this big formula up top, then plug in all the numbers, take your time with all this multiplying. Easy to make a mistake. Okay. One more type, cube. So cube formula a little bit easier to remember. Um, but we want to make sure we don't uh, get think that we're doing volume. 
right? Because volume of a cube and surface area of a cube are two different formulas. Okay, so for a cube, it's 6 S squared. S is side, right? So um, if it says each side is 3 inches, each side equals 3 inches. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Right, just plugging this in. You have a 6 times a 3 squared. You need to make sure we remember a little bit of PEMDAS here, right? PEMDAS means parentheses first, exponent second, um, multiply later. All right, so that means we do 3 squared first. That's 9 times 6 is 54. Okay, why does PEMDAS matter here? If you did the multiplication first and then you squared it, then you would get the wrong answer. <clears throat> 6 times 3 is 18. 18 squared, I don't know what that number is. Um, it's like 300 and something. Uh, so you'll get the wrong answer. So making sure that we do the exponent part first and the multiplying second. Okay, if you want another one on this, let's say it was 5 feet. Higher than 3 inches. Okay, same thing, plug into this formula up here, 6 times 5 squared. Again, from this point, really the only way that we get wrong outside of making an arithmetic error is not doing the exponents first, right? So 5 squared is 25 times 6. 6 times 25 is 150 feet, right? And that would be our answer uh, for that one.